Hey now! Hi everybody, Gribbon here. So Click Team just released an update for FNAF 1 on console, March 11th to be exact, that really gives the game quality of life improvements. So what did they do? I'm going to be discussing the update from a PS4 perspective, so let's just jump right into this. So let's go into each one of these fixes one by one. Added support for keyboard and mouse controls. So mouse and keyboard now works on FNAF 1, but I will say it doesn't feel as polished as the PC version. There is a slight delay when camera flipping to put it back down again, so if you're aiming for 420 mode, I would still recommend using the controller. By the way, I'll provide a link in the description for 420 mode on console if you need it. Me personally, if I'm going to play FNAF 1 on console, I'd rather have a controller in my hand. But if you don't have a PC but want the PC experience, this is as close as you're going to get without it being the real thing. I also tried using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse as well as wired, and my PS4 didn't support the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse I was using. So results may vary when not using a wired keyboard and mouse, something to be aware of if you never tried to sync either of these up to your PlayStation before. Revamped Options Screen So Unlocks in the main menu is now Options in the lower right hand corner. This is what it used to be, and this is what it is now. Your cheats are off to the left, and your subtitle screen spoken and written are off to the right. Not a crazy amount of new options here, but definitely thoughtful for the people that don't speak English. Revamped pause screen. This is what it was, and this is what it is now. You can access subtitle options and you can turn your cheats on midnight. But if you turn on the cheats, if you turn them off again during the night, the trophies are still disabled, so no trying to trick the game to get achievables. Just a reminder, if you die, you can hit the pause button at any time after the jump scare. You don't have to wait for the game to take you back to the main menu to start over again. Added subtitle options. A vast range of different languages to choose from here. Dialogue is for mostly when phone guy speaks to you at the beginning of the night. Other things like the dum dums and Freddy's laugh are not captioned. Written text subtitles are for the most part anything written in the camera screen, like whenever you find rules and safety and other easter eggs that are posted on the wall in camera 4B. I did notice in other languages on Foxy's camera it would caption sorry out of order, but it didn't do that in English. Not a big deal, but just mentioning it. It also doesn't caption things like employees only, let's party, celebrate, party time, eating time, or fun time. Again. Not a big deal, probably better this way because that would just get annoying with all that written caption all over your screen. When you get jump scared, it doesn't have those memeable parentheses captions like jump scare, scream, ah, or anything. Not saying that this is anything bad, but something miscellaneous like that that would have been its own easter egg in itself if it popped up periodically would have been a nice touch. Improved office panning controls. It feels so much smoother and so much faster than it used to be. This was definitely a nice upgrade. Improved custom night screen. It doesn't look like much of a change, however, you don't have to keep hitting up to reach 20 anymore. You can now go down to reach 20 faster. This is something the PC version doesn't even have, so this is a nice addition. You can't hold up or down in any direction to make it tick faster, but overall it's a nice improvement. Various other bugs and improvements. So FNAF 1 is probably the least amount of problems I ever found in one of Click Team's ports. So if you spot any bug fixes or improvements, leave them in the comments below. One that I did notice was the main menu itself. Sometimes the cursor used to stutter when selecting down and you would accidentally pick something you didn't want. Other times up was down and down was up. This menu used to drive me nuts. So as we ask ourselves at the end of all of my reviews, is it worth it to you to buy this? Absolutely. FNAF 1 on console was great. It was great before these improvements, it's just that much better now. But one thing I will say, if you don't own any of these games on console, even if you own one or two of them, always keep an eye out for the Five Nights at Freddy's Core Collection Physical Edition. I know this game goes on sale quite frequently, ranging between $17 to $20 at a time. Now it doesn't come with Ultimate Custom Night, and it doesn't come with Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, but you do get 1, 2, 3, 4, and Sister Location all in one disc. For five of these games for $17 to $20 is an absolute steal. And it seems like Click Team is actually getting on the ball with fixing and giving quality of life improvements overall for these ports of theirs. I'll definitely be eager to see more improvements from you in the future, Click Team. Keep it up. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Also join the community. I'll leave links in the description on how you can do that. I have a FNAF tips and tricks playlist. If you're having any problems, especially whenever it comes to FNAF on console, check it out the video is probably there. And if it isn't, 
just drop me a comment, I'll see what I can do to help you out. But as always, until the next video, or the next stream, my friends, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye.